we will talk about what is Ansible and what, why it's useful and how to install Ansible in Ubuntu. And Ansible is an automation tool for provisioning servers, configuration management for deploying applications without installing any software on target machines. No demo, no database. It uses SSH communication. So if it needs to install a program, you will SSH into the server and install needed program after it has finished configuration of the server. It uninstalled the program and displays on the server. So this time we'll show you how to install Ansible on Ubuntu. Awesome. Um, so first let's see if Ansible is actually in a rep repository. If it's not then we have to add a third party um, repo to our existing one. But uh, I'm confident we already have this. So I have the cache uh, cache search console. Yeah, it appears we have it, so I'm gonna do apt get install answer. Oops, sudo so installing. Okay, we already have Ansible install same Ansible. There we go. So we can see the the various flags that the command support so depending on what you want to achieve you can pass in a specific flag to the command and then to perform that specific action for you um, so on our next video we're actually going to have a deep dive into how to actually configure Ansible to manage your server for you so um, Specifically, we're going to let it provision a Ubuntu server for us. That in in future episode, we're gonna use that to to install WordPress on it. So on our next video, we're gonna do a Ubuntu install using Ansible, so we can see all the magic that Ansible can actually perform. So yeah, thanks guys. Catch you next week.